Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Now at 5 a.m. on WKYT, a breaking story we're working on this morning. A train has derailed in Bourbon County and it has shut down part of Main Street in Paris. We'll have a live report coming right up. After a fire destroyed their home, a Powell County family thankful for the generosity of others as they try to recover. And we'll have the latest on an ongoing hostage situation in Sydney, Australia. Those stories and more, and breaking news as it happens, coming up on WKYT This Morning. Hey, good morning to you and welcome. It's so nice to have you along as we get this new week off and rolling. December 15th, 10 days until Christmas. <laughs> I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Still did a little bit of shopping this weekend, but not enough. Still so. behind, huh? Yeah, still behind a little bit, but you know what we're ahead of? The weather. I yeah. mean, it seems like it's going to be pretty nice today. Let's get a look with Micah. Yeah, good morning, Micah. They're uh, in the First Alert Weather Center. Yeah, good morning, guys. Yeah, we're looking outside, staying nice and dry as we head throughout the day. It's not a bad day to kick off the work week. We're sitting here with this Monday mild, uh, around 50 degrees toward the afternoon, and also dry during the daylight hours. Now, First Alert Defender Live Radar, there's a nice clean sweep. Current temperatures, upper 30s, lower 40s. And as we work our way toward the afternoon, we won't have to go far to hit 50 degrees, about 10 to 12 degrees. That late rain, meaning we'll start to see that during the evening and off into the night. Focus of the forecast is, yeah, the activity really picks up as we'll start to see one system after another in the next several days, especially that weekend system that we'll go over coming up in just a few short minutes. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Thank you. We're going first to a breaking international story we're tracking this morning. Actually, this one's local, but yep. we'll be getting to some international news in a bit. Yeah, a lot going on. First off, though, a train has derailed this morning in Bourbon County. East Main Street in Paris is shut down. Crews are investigating what happened. WKYT Sean Moody live now from the derailment. Uh, Sean, what's the latest information we have? Good morning. Good morning, Bill and Rebecca. Right now, over my shoulders, there are three coal cars from a train that went sl slid down the hill here in Paris. This is just along East Main Street and about Third Street. That's where police have the road shut down. Police tell me the ground beneath the railroad track appears to have given way and sent these cars tumbling down a hillside into Stoner Creek. There's uh, one coal car that's actually in the water, two coal cars that are at the base of that hill resting at the top of a dam here in Stoner Creek. Police tell me there are no injuries right now, but several of the intersections are shut down while crews try and get the situation resolved. There are several fire engines, some police cars, and uh, Bourbon County Emergency Management on scene. I've not been told exactly how long this is going to take to clear up, but there are several crews out here working. They've been working since about 3.30 this morning when it happened. I'm going to continue working to get more information as to how this is going to affect the rest of the day for people who live here in Paris and what it's going to take to get these cars out of the creek. We're now live in Paris. Sean Moody, WKYT. Right, obviously, uh, potentially some environmental concerns as well. So we'll stay on top of that uh, story for you. It's 5:03 now. After a fire destroyed a Powell County home, help is pouring in for the homeowners. Firefighters went out to a trailer on Bright Street around one o'clock yesterday afternoon. No one was home when the fire started. The Moorfield family was out running errands when they got the news. Uh, their home for the past 12 years burns down. He called me and told me. It was, it was on fire. I got to the of school, but I seen the smoke. I just got I mean, sick in my stomach. It was just sick. The Moorfields lost everything in the fire, but not long after, the Red Cross set them up for a hotel, and people in the community began donating clothing. The family says they'll just have to take the next few weeks one day at a time. Well, friends and family of a man killed in a hit and run are remembering him. 23 year old Jacob Hamilton died Sunday morning. Fayette County Coroner says Hamilton was close to the bus stop on Liberty Road Saturday night when a driver veered off the street and hit him. Crews rushed Hamilton to the hospital with life threatening injuries. This morning, friends are paying tribute to Hamilton. I'm going to try to remember all the good things about him because he was just a wonder, wonderful individual overall. You could be having the worst of days and see him and your day would just turn around. We're told the driver later called police to turn himself in. They've not filed charges against that driver. They say they're still investigating. We're tracking the latest developments this morning in an ongoing hostage situation in Sydney, Australia. It started unfolding around 9 o'clock last night, our time, at the Lind Chocolate Cafe in Sydney. Several hostages have managed to escape, but many more are still inside that cafe. Just before 3 o'clock this morning, the hostage taker contacted the media and demanded a couple of things. An ISIS flag being one of 
of those and to speak with the Australian Prime Minister. President Barack Obama has been briefed on the situation. Coming up later, we'll have a full rundown on the latest details we've gathered on this situation happening uh, internationally. In Lexington, several families are staying somewhere new after an apartment fire damaged their homes. Firefighters battled the flames at an apartment complex on Donnabrook Court around midnight Saturday night. The fire spread throughout the building and it damaged two floors of apartments, including the basement. We're taking a look at video the Lexington Fire Department shot of the flames. Crews say a man inside a top floor apartment was cooking on the stove when he fell asleep. That's when the fire spread from the stove to the wall and then through the ceiling of the apartment. When I first got up, uh, the railing, the paint on that railing was burning. That's how hot the fire was. And uh, downstairs and upstairs, the, the shutters were burning on the building. Firefighters say working smoke detectors helped save that person's life. New this morning, firefighters in Rock Castle County had to battle a fire that destroyed a vehicle and nearly spread onto a home. Here's a picture of the fire from the Mount Vernon Fire Department. The fire started on Floyd Street in Mount Vernon late last night. Crews say the leaking gas tank in the Jeep made the fire difficult to handle at first, but they eventually put out the fire. They kept it from spreading to a nearby home. They say no one was injured. We have a reminder this morning for drivers in West Lexington. Today, crews will be picking back up blasting at New Circle at Old Frankfurt Pike. The work is part of an ongoing widening project between Versailles Road and Leestown Road. Each time a blasting operation occurs, the roadway in that area will be shut down for around 15 minutes. The blastings are scheduled to take place around 9 a.m. this morning as well as at 10.30 a.m., also at noon and at 1.30 this afternoon. A new piece of technology that's wearable from LG can make it easier to keep track of your little ones. Gizmo Pal is a watch-like wearable for kids who may be too young to manage a smartphone on their own. There's a GPS inside that can help parents track their child. In addition, there's one-touch calling, so kids only have to press one button to call a guardian. It comes in pink or blue and costs $80. So there you go, stocking stuffer perhaps. <laughs> there you I don't go. Know. All right, let's check live drive traffic, see what's happening this morning on the roads. And we're going to take a look right now at Broadway and High Street, which is looking clear right now. We do want to pass along this major traffic alert this morning. The next phase of the Center Point project starts today downtown, and all lanes of West Vine Street will be closed between South Upper Street and South Limestone. That will start at 9 o'clock this morning, remain closed until about 9.30. Again, about a half hour anticipated on that. And an additional lane of West Main Street is going to be closed all day between Limestone and Upper Street. And that situation may w very well be the case throughout the week. So we'll uh, keep you informed on that. But finally, the next phase of Center Point, it looks like, uh, about to get underway with the arrival of that crane this morning. Much anticipated, yeah. right? And it's Monday morning and WKYT this morning on the air with all the latest. Back in just a moment. An unusual calendar date this weekend had couples rushing to get married. We'll tell you how many couples ready. Registered. Also this morning, Sony hackers releasing more details. This time, they're leaking information about a highly anticipated film. Well, we're looking outside. Nice, clean sweep on first alert Defender live radar. Now, as we go off into the evening and off into the night, that's when the rain moves on in. And I'll go over the timing on that hour by hour. Coming up next.